squeak. Hi, folks, and welcome to my Ask Shell Coffee Break. What am I squeaking about this morning or this afternoon or this evening whenever you're watching this video on Coffee Break? Well, it squeaks in the floors. You could have a kitchen floor squeak, a bathroom floor squeak, or a stair landing squeak. Whatever it happens to be, or a living room squeak, or one just outside in the hallway, outside your bedroom, when you're trying to sneak in at night, and it goes, err, err. well, folks, the answers are here. When in doubt, don't pout. Let Shell help you out. And this is not an easy item to find. It's called the squeak no more. And this is what it looks like. It's in a package comes complete even with the Joyce finding kit. Joyce finding, meaning that when you screw the subfloor down, you go into a joist to suck it down so you don't get any squeaks anymore. So we have them available at our Shell Buzzy House Smart Home Service office. And they can be mailed. They go into a bag. Yes, there is uh, postage fees, but... Uh, it's not all that bad when you consider the fact that you might be wanting to sell your house or you want to get rid of the squeak before such time as you put hardwood flooring down or, or putting new carpet down or whatever. And incidentally, heads up, never use drywall screws if you're using regular screws. Mm -mm, doesn't work. In fact, they'll cause you grief in the end. Uh, wood screws, if it's done properly, but wood screws are not the squeak no more screws or the kit with the item that you use in order to apply the screws to the subfloor. In fact, right at the end of this particular segment, uh, there's a video. And the video is me taking a squeak out of a floor. So don't forget, watch the video. That way you'll know exactly what the squeak no more looks like and what it does. It is just that easy, folks. So squeaky floors, no more. Talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. How do I get rid of a squeak in a floor? Some folks got hardwood flooring over top of subfloor. Some have vinyl over top of subfloor. Some have carpet over top of subfloor. Some have finished ceilings down in the basement underneath the main floor level. Well, first, what causes the problem? With my cutaway display here, the drywall, as you can see, the baseboard, and the hardwood floor here, subfloor, and then plus the joist. The joists, when they're installed originally, are green, uh, wet. When they dry out, they shrink away. Showing you with the nail here, when the plywood shrinks away from the joist, you get that squeaking sound when you walk across it. Now, to tighten that up, and you've got a finished ceiling underneath, and you've got carpet on top, how do you do it? Well, let me show you how we're going to go about it. Okay, we're now upstairs. We'll take the register cap away. I've previously drilled a hole in the side of the galvanized boot, which I can now put a nail into the hole and push it through until it runs into the side of the joist, keeping my forefinger and thumb nice and tight against the nail, pull the nail out. That's the exact measurement away from the boot that the joists were located. Now, there you have it there. I tight against the side of the carpet, tilt the nail up, push it into the under pad. The nail will stay upright until you take a measurement, take a measurement from the wall out that's 59 inches. Now, there's 59 inches to the side of the joist. Another three-quarters of an inch will be the center of the joist because your joists are an inch and a half wide. Now, I'll put a piece of tape right at the side of the nail. That way, I'll be able to put my screw nails down through the subfloor and into the joist to tighten it right at the edge of the tape. We've established the measurement now out from the wall, and this is where the squeak is, right here. <laughs> that's the one that's causing the problems. And we've put our tape in place, knowing that exactly to the outside of that tape, is the center of the joist, right there. Now, this is a special screw that we're going to use, along with an accessory, which is called the squeak-removing device. Now, the screw goes down through the chuck, like so, and inside the chuck, there's a stop, which the screw point for the screw nail will stop at that point. There's an actual stop point, which only allow that screw to go so deep. Once that screw is gone in through the plywood, into the joist, and sucked the two together, taking that squeak away, then we can snap it off. And we'll show you how to do that very easily with the accessory. 
Now, it's very important when you're going through carpet that you don't want to catch on to one of the threads and pull it out. So what I've done is just taken regular household tape and taped the thread, taping right over the point, because we don't want anything to happen in the form of uh, pulling a thread, especially in Berber carpet. Putting the squeak removing device now into place, put the screw down through to the point that it's right on the edge. Now I can stand up and I want to hold that between my feet so it won't turn. I'll insert the, the screw bit. And it's down through, pull that away. As you can see now, the screw has not went directly into the carpet, but it has stayed up high enough where I can now use the screw removing device on the accessory. Now, the screw removing device, screw head, simply slide it over, move it back and forth till you break it off, pulling it out. Now, you can see there, there's a tape. Pull the tape away. There's where it's broke off. There's the, the screw. And the rest of the screw now is down through the plywood and into the joist, taking the squeaks away. Look at that, not even a mark on the carpet. There's where the squeak was. Gone, nothing more. Well, it goes to show you the right accessories and the right screws will take those squeaks away.